Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. Uh, that's me standing by the Bean in Chicago. And in this lesson, I am going to show you how to set up a small fluval 5-gallon aquarium using a plenum and BCB bags. The only thing I didn't like about the fluval is that... Uh, the lighting system sucks. I don't know how I put it. It's 7,000K, and all it does to me when I had it is promote algae growth. So anyhow, these are the materials you're going to need. As you can see, uh, you're going to need a first layer laterite or a replacement a substitute for it. And as you can see, I use that uh, top fin little filter plates that I got and they seem to fit the five gallon absolutely perfect and of course you're going to need the aquarium now if you're going to want to use sand which isn't a problem then you will need to have a little ground cover fabric that you'll want to put over the plate that you're going to be using for the plenum and you will make the plenum the same as anything else. But don't forget the ground cover fabric will be made. So you put that over it. Then when you put your sand, it won't migrate through the uh, under gravel filter plate that you're using. Uh, because you'll have about a half inch of space there as your plenum. And um, it'll prevent that from happening. So literally you can use any substrate you want. Even sand, just remember if you're going to use sand, to use the ground cover fabric. As you can see, the plates fit pretty nice inside of the Fluval 5-gallon aquarium. They, uh, they snap together. I would highly recommend, though, that you try to use a bubbler, either the uh, beta bubbler, and add it to this to... Uh, make it a slow moving plenum. You don't need much air so you could literally buy the smallest air pump that's out on the market for such a tank like this and you should have no worries about uh, having too much air going through. You can always cut it back though. Uh, the kit comes with an uplift tube. I would suggest you use it and just cut it down shorter. It comes with it and as you can see, the, the under gravel filter can be moved backward or forward. It's okay if you move it and push it to the back and have that little space. It's only about an inch, inch and a half. That's not going to bother anything. And of course, like I said, then you would use the ground cover to cover the plates. I would highly recommend, of course, that you use one of the uplift tubes to keep the water circulating underneath it. You could turn it down very slowly, the bubbles, but the good thing of it is you don't need a very strong pump. A very weak pump or the weakest aquarium bubbler out there will be more than enough for a little tank like this. After you top it off with at least one inch of your substrate, even though uh, you don't see the uplift tube, uh, I did use it, but for demonstration purposes, I, I left it out of this these photos. But anyhow, you put at least one inch covering the plates. And then after that, uh, we're going to have a down shot. And this is what it should look like. Is your, this is your typical five-gallon little fluval aquarium. The next thing you're going to want to do after you put about an inch in. Now the substrate that you use here is whatever your preference is. Okay, this is a, a fluval substrate that has uh, iron in it that you're looking at. I don't know the particular name like I set up this aquarium years ago, but what I like to use of course is first layer pure laterite, but I know in other countries uh, this is hard to get so 
there are substitutes. And here's a picture that was sent to me. As you can see, the undergravel filter, the what they're using instead of laterite is the C chem uh, with iron. And they're using for like the kitty litter uh, a different brand. This is from probably overseas, maybe Australia or something else. But anyway, I used about two cups of laterite and I just sprinkled that right on top of the substrate I was using. Like I said, what substrate you want to use is 100% up to you. If you can't get laterite and you can get one of the substrates that have a high iron in it, that's good. That uh, substrate will do just fine to help the bacteria begin to grow. After I spread the laterite all over the top, just sprinkle it on the top, as you can see by the photo. The next step is that once it's there, and as you can see, there's not a lot of laterite. So it's just there to help start and help the bacteria. Of course, you would have an uplift tube somewhere in the aquarium, somewhere in the corner or wherever you want to put it, but that's entirely up to you. Then, of course, you finish it off with about two more inches of substrate, and you won't even see then the laterite or anything else that's in the aquarium. And it should look just like what you're looking at here for this little bitty aquarium. No big problems. Here's two products here that you could use in placement of kitty litter if you uh, live in a country that sells these products. These can be used in place of kitty litter. You'd put maybe about a half inch down or an inch down, or in fact, you can use it as a complete uh, substrate if you want. Just buy some of this. Since you're doing such a small tank, uh, it wouldn't cost you that much. Not that it's inexpensive, but all you would need to do is have an iron source, and you can literally use something like this to use as your substrate. It's just an idea. Now, in order to make your BCB bags, you would use, like I showed you in other videos, uh, I'll show you in this one also. Here's a picture of some of the uh, bags that were made up. I think these are made up of, uh, I bought the bags from Amazon that I put the kitty litter in. And uh, then, now if you look at this picture, if you see between compartments two and three, one is the overflow and two is uh, carbon and three is this uh, biomax that they give you. You're not going to use any of that. And there's a piece of sponge in between the two. You'll cut that out. Then you'll put a big, nice big BCB bag right there in placement of two and three and that piece of foam that goes in the center and you just push that right into that compartment. So you are not going to be using a couple of things and you will need to cut the center part of the foam away because the foam separates the number two which is carbon and number three which is the biomax from each other. That you'll just cut out. Put your BCB bag in there, make it the right size and you're all set to go. You got an anoxic filter along with your plenum in a little bitty five gallon aquarium. This is one thing I didn't like about this fluvo aquarium. Here it is completely set up. It looks like anybody else's aquarium with some nice easy to grow crypt and some uh, uh, java fern in it. And uh, that's it. Little bitty five gallon tank. Uh, the thing I did not like about this particular tank was the lighting. The lighting promotes algae. It has too much blue in it and there's no way of adjusting it. That was the only downside of using this Fluvo uh, aquarium with uh, the light that already comes with it. But if you wish to buy one of these, just remember that 
could be a downfall of the aquarium is the lighting. And of course now here's the tank with fish in it. These were just tiny angel fish to start out with. And of course you put your normal snails in there and stuff like that. Now this tank did uh, very good. Except I noticed it did grow algae a little more than I wanted. I did have some algae eaters. I think you can see one in the front uh, eating away. Only because the lighting system to this particular tank, I did not care for the 7000K. Uh, the new lighting systems are adjustable where you can take the blue out and they don't promote that algae. But this particular tank did. And now I'm going to show you uh, another tank, an antique tank. Now this aquarium is a very old aquarium. It was made in the 1930s. It's all metal and it has uh, mountain minnows in it. But as you see, instead of using a plenum, I just used a large gravel um, with some hardworth. And the reason I used a large gravel is so oxygen can penetrate all the way through the substrate. And uh, you won't get any anaerobic pockets or anything doing that. So that's another way of getting around if you have such a small aquarium like this one. This one can't be more than a gallon of water. So uh, if you were to try to put the substrate directly on the bottom, you're going to end up with problems. So I just used a larger stone. It's for uh, mountain minnows. Uh, they don't really care. And a little bitty filter in there just to keep the water circulating and clean. Very simple setup. Uh, you're not going to have an anoxic filtration system or a plenum, but it's just something to show you that uh, if you have a very, very small aquarium, you're going to have some fish like mountain minnows, or something, you use a larger size gravel so oxygen can penetrate all the way through to the very bottom of the aquarium glass. Anyway, that's it for uh, this particular video. I just wanted to make it short, sweet for uh, everybody that uh, asks, can I show how to make a small aquarium? And yes, you can, you can even make one out of that, uh, out of the antique aquarium, of course, that's small, if you don't mind cutting the material out for uh, your plenum and everything. But it's such a small tank, that's the reason I did it this way. Anyhow, until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Thank you for watching, and happy fish keeping.